Everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday, and today we're doing Valentine's Day coasters. So I have these wood pieces that I found at Michael's. It came in a package with other ones, and um, I pulled the two hearts out of there. Now, just so you know, this is a little bit of a smaller size than what we would normally do. And this is a regular drinking glass, and it fits on there just fine. So this is great for special occasions. Um, it, it's got a really cute look to it and figure this will take at least two coats because this is just raw wood and it's probably going to soak it in really well. First one I painted silver, the second one I'm doing a metallic rose pearl. So it's not really red, it's not really pink. Now because I want to fill these with resin I'm going to take my packing tape, lay it down and put this down on it. So you can take a bone folder, a credit card, or anything to just make sure that there's a good seal between the tape and the piece of wood. Now I need to mix about one ounce of the Easy Cast resin. I'm going to use some fine glitter, fine red glitter, and pour a bunch of it in here. Mix it up, and this is one ounce of the Easy Cast. But I want to carefully drip it into these areas as we've done before. And it's really hard to go wrong with glitter and resin because it always looks so pretty. Now you do want to be careful with this tape because it's easy to get stuff stuck to it and all of a sudden you can flip your whole project and the resin goes everywhere. would have been plenty to do these two. I'm going to take my lighter, pop the bubbles, and then I'm just going to let it sit and cure. I'll wait 12 hours at least until I take the backing off. So here are the coasters all cured. You can peel it right off. And if you peel any paint off, just touch it up. You got the paint. Um, mine is not sticky. I know some tape does leave the stickiness behind. So if you do have any kind of stickiness on there, you can always um, paint a clear coat over it. You can do it either with another coat of resin or you can just do nail polish um, or some kind of sealer. So here they are. There's the front. There's the back. On the back they're flat obviously because that's where it all settled. And here's the front. Just as pretty. Both sides. And it's big enough for a regular glass. It's not going to be big enough for obviously a larger glass. And they just look pretty laying around on your table as a decoration. You could drill a hole into some of the wood areas and use it as an ornament. Now I had extra resin that I told you about and I pulled out that shot glass, that heart shot glass mold that I have. If you didn't see me use this before, definitely go check out that video. Um, I will have it linked in the description below. I just used the extra glitter resin that I had and as you can see they're not even the same width and it doesn't make any difference. But let me show you what you can use these for. So if you have some cloth napkins, and I do but I don't really ever use them, then go ahead and just put them on as a napkin ring. So they'll sit there like that. You won't obviously see the whole heart when it's sitting there. And then when you pull it off it's like, oh my gosh, it's a heart. So that was just a quickie little bonus obviously. The coasters were the main event today because it is Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Valentine's Day coasters and I hope you give them a try. Remember while you're here to subscribe so you don't miss a thing and I will definitely see you next time. I'll see you over on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other places. Remember life is too short not to shimmer so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Thanks guys.